Hello, everybody. So I figured we could all use some sweetness in our life. So this is just for fun. Um, I just wanted to do that. So uh, I was doing a Blender tutorial recently and uh, Blender Guru showed us how to do a donut. And I was thinking, hey, let me let me also do that in Shaper. So what we do is obviously start out with a circle and we have that oval in there and we're gonna revolve it. And that basically makes our basic shape. And uh, I mean, it's pretty straightforward here. It's not as complicated as Blender, uh, but we do want to make it look almost as good. <laughs> Uh, this is a direct modeling software, so it won't be as uh, imperfect. It will be perfect. So we're gonna try to make it look just a little bit imperfect later on. But let's start with this. Let's make it look like a donut. Um, I think it looks pretty sweet already. I think that color choice was just right. Uh, let's just make sure a little bit. So yeah, I think it looks really good. Uh, what we do need to do is dip it <laughs> so we're gonna dip it in some pink cream or whatever you want to call this um, it's gonna be delicious all right so <laughs> let's get it back up there and look at what we got <laughs> there we go we got a dip donut and let me show you how to actually make that okay so we're gonna go back to step one after the donut and there are multiple ways of doing this as usual, but I do like to split it up into multiple pieces just because it's easier to work with when you have separate pieces and then it's a piece of cake just to union everything together. So just one step at a time and I'm going to make the outer shell. Just work on it a little bit, you know, just make it look good the way I think it's going to look good. But every donut is different. Yours may be different. So uh, just round off those edges. And then uh, change it to pink. <laughs> and I don't know about you, but I have a tendency to make things that I'm working on transparent, just to make it easier to see, obviously, what you can do. And you know, let's go ahead and make that inner inner revolve and work on that inner shape. And here we're just gonna combine it to make see how it looks. And I do notice that there is a slight thickness to it that I don't like. So I do want to lower that in just a second. And if any of you have done the Blender tutorial, you probably remember there was a couple of droops of the filling on the donuts just to make it look a little bit more realistic by making it less perfect. Uh, so what we're gonna do is start off with making a basic shape using a spline. However, in this case, it's probably not uh, necessary. We could have just made a circle, for example, but I like the splines. And then uh, what we're gonna do is replace face after we make our basic shape, just so we have that uh, continuation. That's why I said like you could you could have made a circle here, but I was just going along having fun. So uh, whatever happens, and what we do need to do after that is cut away the excess, which we don't need. And a lot of people they may use planes, but I find planes to be a little cumbersome. So I just go ahead and use my item as a plane and make that little sketch. It just goes by faster. So we make that little cutaway. And then we have our little filler. And uh, well, we, we will need a couple of them, so just watch me do this and you can do it in your own way.
So hey, it's sprinkle time and lots of manual labor. Uh, just shout out to Shaper team if you guys are watching this. It would be nice to have a replicator like a you know a pattern or item tool, kind of like the Revolve, but with uh, like I said, the pattern or items. Uh, but we're gonna have to do a lot of little manual adjustments here. So we have to place this sprinkle in the right orientation, and we'll go from there. And I decided to rotate this sprinkle all the way around lots of times just to have a base point of you know where to work from and uh, after that we will adjust every single one of them to a certain degree before we make a replication and we will attempt to make it random looking and just watch how I do it if you have the time for it or you can do it yourself And then just look around, make sure you're happy with the basic results. And what we're gonna do is now a little bit more of the fun part. We're gonna replicate and we're gonna make sure that we have more sprinkles. So <laughs> select not every one of them, but just select some random ones in a way in a line and center your revolve tool. And we're gonna duplicate them just a couple times so that we have some more sprinkles. And where would the world be without color? So let's make our sprinkles a little bit more colorful. And this is basically the final step. So congratulations on getting here. I hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> What's the point of doing it otherwise? Um, yeah, just choose some colors you like and go ahead and paint it on. Well, hey, I'm pretty happy with the result. Uh, it doesn't look as good as Blender Gurus, obviously, but uh, hey, I, I'm proud of it, and I hope you guys had fun making it. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Maybe you can see some more things in the future. And hey, take a picture. It lasts longer. Bye-bye. <laughs>